Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video, bringing you another episode on the road to becoming a millionaire with cryptocurrency. If you're new to my channel, I have been dropping these episodes on uh, road to becoming a millionaire. Great strategies, tips, and helpful information in these videos that can guide you on your journey, show you how to make great money in crypto. I've made great money in my journey from right back when I first invested, and you know I'm just sharing some helpful information that I have. If you want to uh, see these right from the start, look, I've got a, uh, a template, no, a playlist right here on my uh, channel. You can come down, and it says here, Road to One Million, The Ultimate Guide. Start from number one if you haven't seen it and work your way through. I'm going to be bringing more videos on this. Uh, so yeah, let's dive in. Uh, the last episode that we did, we were looking at mid-cap coins. Now we're going to be getting into the juicy stuff. You know, that tender looking juicy finger licking. <laughs> barbecue piece. Just wipe it on myself, you know. Barbecue piece of chicken right here. Them low cap gems you best believe. Let me find them. What's a low cap gem? Before I go any further, did I say it? If it sounds interesting, drop that like. I think I said it. Uh, this is not financial advice, please. Do your first... <laughs> Still wet. Do you further research before you invest your money? Uh, what is a low cap gem? A low cap gem is considered a uh, a crypto coin that is less than 100 million in market cap. That's what I personally believe. And if you come down here, maybe starting with uh, where's the market cap? So uh, market. I'm looking up here. Look, market cap right here, right? So anywhere from, well, that's a weird jump. It's got 45 million there, Kurobo. Kur Kur well, that'd be classed as a low cap gem. Let's just highlight orbs. If it lets me highlight orbs. Come on, let me highlight just you. You're on your own. Here we go. Anything, actually, you know what? Let me come right down. Anything like this, I'm just gonna, does it let me highlight? It's not letting me highlight. <sighs> I usually got like a highlighter. Anything from here, 98 million and downward, in my eyes is considered a low cap gem where you can make life changing gains should they perform well. These are risky. These are high risk because they're not like the top blue chip gems that have got great exposure. Everyone's talking about them. You know, they're trusted because they've been around long term. These are considered high risk. But this is where you can make life changing money. And this is where we're going to invest to make life changing money. Let me grab up my spreadsheet. For those that are new, if you want to grab this uh, spreadsheet, it's an empty one. You can do it. It's in the link in the description. Just click it. Now, I said in the last videos, you need two blue chip tokens, uh, crypto, that I seriously think you should have in your portfolio of the 10 coins. It's a max of 10 coins, two being blue chip, three being mid cap. That makes five of them. And then the other five is going to be low cap gems where you're going to make insane gains with these coins. Now, you don't have to choose the uh, low cap cryptos that I give you, you're welcome to choose others. But as long as you have five low cap gems, that's going to set you up for greatness. My first coin, let's dive into it. If you you know watch my channel, you already know. Veracity. V-R-A. I call this... <laughs> I know you said it. Verascla. <laughs> uh, look, this is... I'm not going to dive too deep on what it can do. It's all about uh, ad fraud on the channels when you're watching uh, YouTube and stuff. You know, this can tap into YouTube, Twitch and all that stuff and prevent ad fraud. Not saying no more, do your further research. That's what it's about. We're here to find these low cap gems and find out what we can do. How much of this should you have? Again, this is not financial advice. It's a low cap gem because it's sitting on 40 million market cap, which means it has plenty of room to grow. And again, if you want to know more on Veracity, Veras Clark, check out my, video, uh, my videos. I've got a ton of stuff on Veras Clark. I would say about having 150,000 Veras Clark is a great start. If you can't afford that right away, fine. You know, just over the next coming weeks, months, just keep accumulating. But I think 150,000. I, I, I was going to say 100,000 because in most cryptos like this, and you can get a bunch very cheap. This is what I like. Because, you know, if you, was, if you was to get like 150,000 Cardano, you're spending hundreds of thousands, I'm sure. Now, maybe like 80 to 90,000. <coughs> no, yeah. Maybe you've got to spend about 90 to 100,000 pounds to get, I don't know, 150,000 Cardano. Just saying right here. Is that right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm saying low cap gems are cheap. And you can bag 100 grand, 100,000 of these easy. But I'm going to go that step further, 150,000. Because I would want to have 100,000 tokens plus that little bit more. So if I sell them off in portions, 
you know, strategy thinking, right? 150,000 today would cost you 587 pounds. I like to keep it real for the average person. And, you know, I've been looking at the mid caps and the the, the, the blue chips, 100 pounds here and there. But the reason I'm looking to invest a bit more in these lower ones is because if they do do those crazy gains, 100x you're gonna make so much more money and like i said you can bag a lot more of these a lot cheaper so for example if you was to invest in card and only spent a thousand pounds you probably wouldn't get as much as what you'd get over here for example half of a thousand what about 587 pounds which is about 650 dollars you're getting a bag of this. So let's put this down. Uh, that's, that's what I personally do. So VRA, uh, 150K would be my uh, first goal achievement for this, all right? 150K. Long term goal, accumulation goal. How much would I like to have in total? You don't need a lot of this, you know, to seriously change your life. Maybe 300,000 tokens could be life changing for some. So, you know, let's just say 300K goal would be, you know, uh, 300K would be my full accumulation goal. Why isn't that moving across? Do I have to get rid of the K? Is that why? Yeah, because I put the K there and it didn't work either. Anyway, uh, I just put 300, about 300. Uh, like that. I I've got to do the, the dash, the zero, zero, zero. Is that going to move across? Okay. So I'm going to have to do that like this as well. I didn't want to do it like that, but uh, it is what it is. 150,000 to be precise. So 300K would be my long, you know, my whole accumulation goal of how much I'd like to have. That's going to be about a thousand pound investment overall, right? Because if you double this, 300,000, uh, yeah, about 1,174 pounds. Again, Average people, I usually say over a period of months, if you can save your money and not spend it on Chinese takeouts and all that crap that we keep doing, you know, because I keep doing it, you should be able to eventually meet this goal. Right now, and this is, again, I can't tell you what to do with your money. Who's that? Oh, there's a cat looking at me in my garden. Anyway, right now, you have a seriously good opportunity to be bagging a lot of VRA tokens cheap. Because let me tell you something, had I been making this video five to six months ago telling you to grab uh, 300,000 VRA back then, look at what price you'd have been paying. You're talking right here, look, November, six pence a piece. Six pence. Now look how much it would cost you back then if I'd been making this video to say, oh look, get 300,000. People ain't got that kind of money. Times it by 0 0.06. You'd be looking at spending 18,000 pounds. What? Ross, and I've got to say that because people ain't got that kind of money, 18 grand. I mean, some people do, but that's even still, that's a lot of money. Right now, you can bag 300,000 of these <laughs> for 1,000 pounds. I'm just saying, but we're not going for 300,000 right now. We're going for 150,000. 587 pounds. I think it's very realistic, very doable for many people to achieve could set you up for greatness. What kind of X gain can I see this going to? If you look over here, price targets. What kind of X gains? I seriously believe, give it time. These kind of low cap gems, they can just blow up all of a sudden, but you need to give it time. I think we can see this 100X our money, if not go higher. I think we could see a one pound price for veracity in the future. A one pound price, I really do. I'll keep it real, let's just say, 70 pence price. Let's say it doesn't reach that one pound because everybody's like, it's like that, that whole mindset of, oh, it's got to hit this number. Let's just say it goes to 70 pence. What, what kind of gains are we talking right there? If this goes to 70 pence, it's seriously doable, guys. I'm telling you. Divide it by, and real quick, because some people, uh, you know, this whole thing of the, oh, but they've increased their supply. No, the supply is still the same. It's still 10 billion. That's circulating that can be uh, people can buy right now there will be an additional 10 billion going onto the market over the next couple of years this says 110 billion i want to make it very clear to you guys that 90 billion of these tokens will never ever go into circulation we the public will not be able to buy those tokens because they're used for their proof of views is that right? The P P proof of views uh, platform, right? Just want to make that clear. So we're dealing with a 20 billion market cap, essentially. T sorry, supply, 20 billion in supply. Now, when you think about it like that, you've got uh, Cardano at 45 billion hitting two to three pounds. 
You've got XRP at 100 billion tokens hitting two to three pounds. So a 20 billion should go X amount higher. Going back on this, uh, if this goes to 70 pence, uh, let me type that again, 0 0.70, divide it by the price that we're looking at now, uh, 0 0.0039, I'm going to be precise, put the nine. We're talking a 179x gain on your money, which means uh, you can do 179x gain on the price as well. One, one second, so uh, let me just put the x gain in. Uh, 179x gain, like that. And what would it do to the price? Because essentially you can times the, the price... Uh, oh, sorry, that was a three, <laughs> 70 pence price. I'm just going out of my head here. Here we go. Uh, 0 0.70. Point, uh, I should do this in British pounds, really. I should, I should put like a pound sign. Uh, but anyway, 0 0.70. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, 0 0.70. There you go. So a 70 pence price... Oh, 0 0.7. 70 pence price is 179x gain from the price that it is today. What would it put the price at? Three pounds. What would it put the market cap at? Uh, let's, because you know, if you're going to times the price, you have to times the market cap, and it has to be a realistic market cap. Uh, what would the market cap be? So forty million. I'm going to take it and times it by. Come on, all this highlighting crap. Here we go, uh, and see what kind of market cap we're dealing with. Uh, here we go. You'd be looking at a seven billion, a seven billion market cap for Veracity. It's very doable with what it's trying to achieve. Please do not underestimate this. I'm telling you now, very doable. And I would sit back and wait for them X gains to come in. 